We continue with a budget speech in Parliament this afternoon by the Treasurer. On revenue, the government announced several measures. Smokers and alcohol consumers need to hear this. Mr. Speaker, on taxation measures, the 2017 budget cont contains significant taxation measures to support the government's efforts towards a gradual fiscal consolidation part to maintain macroeconomic stability, support continued economic growth and employment through improved, broaden and strong revenue base. These measures will raise government revenue by 620 million in 2017. Mr. Speaker, I would now like to take the honorable members briefly through the four largest tax measures. The 2017 budget will reintroduce the progressive export tax on unprocessed old growth logs to capture the resource rent of varying, varying log species. This means that logs will now be taxed according to the species value. The progressive log export will enable Papua New Guinea to receive a fair share from exploitation of old growth logs. Mr. Speaker, the progressive log export tax is a deliberate policy measure. International commentators have confirmed that the volume of logs leaving our source is not matching the benefits that should be received. The progressive tax should encourage the establishment of downstream processing facilities and for additional spin-off economic activities. Mr. Speaker, the consumption of alcohol and tobacco has associated social implications which the government continues to face through increased funding for law and order, manpower, free primary health care, social awareness, and education. More so, Mr. Speaker, the consum consumption of such, such goods contributes to poverty and wasteful expenditure. In this vein, the 2017 budget will increase the alcohol indexation cap from 2.5% to a fixed rate of 5% biannually, while the tobacco excess base rates will have a one-off increase. Mr. Speaker, this initiative is not without risks. There is possibility of people resorting, resorting to cheap, illicit alcohol and tobacco. As a responsible government, a task force will be set up to combat illicit tobacco and alcohol activities in 2017. Mr. Speaker, the 2017 budget will adjust prescribed taxable component of the employer providing housing benefit. It will create two additional tiers of upmarket costs, house and very high cost house, and will fully tax offshore employer provided housing. This is to strike a balance between encouraging and supporting employers who provide accommodation to employees and ensuring fairness to all taxpayers. Mr. Speaker, the final tax measure will revamp the existing additional profit tax, in short, called APT, and extend its application across all mining and petroleum sector and not just designated gas projects. The revised APT will be a single rate of 30% and will trigger a single APT threshold rate of 15%. The Tax Review Committee and International Monetary <coughs> Fund report indicated that current APT design was below international standards and highly concessional. It was noted that the existing high APT threshold rates were the reason why APT was rarely collected in Papua New Guinea. <coughs> This measure is aimed at achieving, achieving progressivity in the tax system to ensure Papua New Guinea derives maximum benefits from its mining and petroleum wealth. Mr. Speaker, on minor tax measures included in this budget are other minor tax policy measures, which includes redistribute, redistributes the gross profits of gaming machines to increase the government's share via consolidated revenue fund, 
from 46% to 55%, measures bookmakers' stamp duty with bookmakers' turnover tax and increases bookmakers' turnover tax to 15% to simplify, simplify administration and encourage individual spending in productive areas, increase departure tax from 30 kina to 114 kina to maintain real value of departure tax eroded by inflation over time. Standardize, standard, standardize the tax, uh, taxation treatment of corporate income tax, dividends, interest and foreign contractors across all sectors of the economy and repeals double tax deduction provisions for exploration expenditures. The remaining tax measures are technical amendments. They are designed to improve the equity, efficiency, and simplicity of PNG's tax system. The measures will also help modernize the Internal Revenue Commission and improve its administration.